Shalom everyone. God bless you. This is Simone with Trinity of Love Ministries. Hope you're all doing well. God bless you. Father, we thank you for this word. We thank you for the delivery of this word in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that according to Psalm 91, that your people, we are protected and sealed in the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you, Lord, that you, you do not lie. You always deliver on what you promise. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for strengthening your people in this hour. We thank you for your blood, which was shed for our salvations, for the, the recovery of our souls our mind our body and our spirit hallelujah father we thank you that you're blessing your people even now may they receive this word may they find understanding may they find relief may they find encouragement and empowerment to believe your word on your in your truth father in the mighty name of jesus may they take this back to you in their own private time may they soak in your presence may they receive from you in this hour and may they do the things you've called them to do to be a blessing on this earth to move forth and to be a light and a lamp unto others in jesus mighty name amen so god bless you guys as you can see this is a word it says god's favor and justice is here god's favor and justice is here special delivery the gilded error hallelujah the gilded error hallelujah so i'm going to break it down and explain what the lord was saying to me to share with you guys hallelujah but and he gave me this over the weekend and specifically also more so on monday which was the 11 right and he was doing the whole countdown thing again right and even between uh december 11th and 12th which yesterday was 12 12 which was um very powerful you know 12 is about authority and and rulership and government hallelujah and and you know he took me to lamentations first and i've never seen this but in lamentations it, it, i mean they probably have other chapters in in the bible but we know the book of lamentations is about the weeping and wailing but that god will also turn your tears and you know he wants you to pour out your heart and he specifically took me to lamentations chapter 3 verse 21 hallelujah lamentations chapter 3 verse 21 so and then he said look because 3 and 21 is a countdown 3 2 1 right and so that's what he was reminding me of again hallelujah and even he said just now before i came on he said to read it uh verse 21 in lamentations chapter 3 it says this i recall to my mind right he's saying to remember and recall to your mind hallelujah therefore have i hope to hope in him to trust in him uh, and to do so once more if you have not uh, been holding on he's saying to hold fast because he does not lie remind yourself right in verse 22 of lamentations in three it says it is of the lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not hallelujah and we know it's because of his goodness his mercy his grace that we have not been consumed but the enemy is the one that is being consumed in this hour in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah right and he said specifically when he told me special delivery he kept showing me i mean it's been like this past whole all of december and even before starting with thanksgiving he was showing me a lot of uh prime trucks and then that's when he said special delivery hallelujah so he's there's some things he's promised you that he's saying he's delivering to you in this season hallelujah and that you're gonna know if this word is for you right this is not for if you've just come into wilderness or you're just renewing your relationship with him these are things he's saying you you're gonna know in your spirit and when you go back with him what he's talking about because it's also going to be a confirmation for you hallelujah it's going to be a confirmation and we also know that we're today uh we're in the season of hanukkah right and that's the eight days of the miracle that god uh produced in you know thousands of years ago hallelujah right and today is day six of hanukkah it ends on the 15th which is another prophetic thing in, in of itself that i won't go into right now but god was just reminding me and highlighting me because all the last five days god has been making a way out of no way right and he you know the miracle of hanukkah is about the miracle of of the oil and just the the blessings that god has, has done to keep his people at that time hallelujah right but god was just saying and he was reminding me that of of a couple words that i gave in 2020 and specifically right before he 
downloaded me with this word he told me you know to go back and look at the word i released that talked about god answers and he was saying that is exactly what he is doing he is answering his people he's answering your prayers so there's three words that are related to this word i'm about to uh, fully release to you and i'm going to link in the description because he's saying you know for those who he leads you'll go back and watch those and you'll glean more from that as well but the first one was god answers he was saying you know i'm going to i'm answering your prayers hallelujah and he was talking to me prophetically but then also to you to his people right and that word was god answers a turning point for harvest right a turning point for harvest and then the other word i gave it was also in 2020 uh one early in 2021 is called it's mega right if uh uh, 320 so relating to the Ephesians 3 and 20 but he showed me that word mega again like a week ago on a truck and I was like okay Lord and then he, I knew what he meant because I you know delivered the word he said go look at that and so that word is for this as well it's connected it's mega right so whatever he promised you whatever he's these are big promises basically he's saying right that he's he's spoken over your life things that the enemy has stolen has rooted out that he's he is restoring holy and reviving and the last word is um that i delivered in 2021 um it was called he's making a way out of no way up 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 hallelujah he's making a way out of no way up 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 and you know he he's saying like he promised that he pruned you and he he tailor made you for this and he took you low so that you could really trust him you could really understand who he is his character his love his grace his mercy and that you will never go back down but he just needed you to uh be in a full posture especially as a remnant of of keeping yourself humble before the lord hallelujah humble before the lord so now i'm going to turn to this word specifically he he gave me haggai the book of haggai i don't know many of you probably don't even read this book i've read it a couple times it's very short um and and specifically how god spoken to me prophetically just about um who i am to him and all these things but he was talking uh, specifically through Haggai, of uh, the book of Haggai, chapter 1, verse 13 to 15, and then Haggai, chapter 2, verse 4 to 9. Hallelujah. And he wanted me to read this because he's saying that he's delivering his favor and his justice. And, and I'll explain what the Gilded Era is because that, it came separate. That's why he took, so he was downloading me over like the course of days uh, around what he was trying to say and what he wanted me to deliver, right? Because I wasn't planning on coming on but he he said you know no I, that word i want you to deliver to them that he gave me over the weekend and monday right hallelujah um and he i'm going to talk specifically about what he meant by the gilded era first before i read the scripture because he's saying the when he said that to me he had me look it up that's actually an, it's called the gilded age but to me he said era right and it's tied to the word i gave over january for the whole right that this is a a new era that we're at we've entered and we entered it since January, right? And God wants us to also not forget we are still in his new year, right? 5784. Just because we're entering into January 2024 doesn't mean the year is over for us because we are technically are, are still in his new year. Hallelujah. So there's many things he has done and he's going to continue to do in the mighty name of Jesus. So you had me look up the golden uh, age, but he said era. It's an era. And he made me think of the kingdom era as well. Hallelujah. Right. But specifically in history, if you look it up, the Gilded Age, right, it was between 1877 to the 1900s, right? It's a time between Reconstruction and the Progressive Era, right? And so he, he wanted me to highlight that because it was specifically a time of rapid economic growth, right? This was a time of rapid economic growth in the North and West of the U.S. in particular, right? There were increased wages. Um, there was a lot of increased, you know, uh, blessings at that time. But on the flip side, for some, it was a time of negativity, of, of poverty, of impoverished nations and things like that. And when I read that, God told me, he's like, I'm turning the tables. Hallelujah, right? And he said that the just shall rule. The just shall rule in the mighty name of Jesus right so yes you're gonna see and you, you're seeing it now even and you've experienced it but God's saying I brought you low but I didn't want you're not gonna stay there because now it's like Joseph right he he went through this process and you thought 
he's gonna he, and he probably thought he was forever gonna be in that state but God took him so he could then pre be prepared for where he was taking him in the palace right and to be a blessing during a time of famine and that's specifically why God took the remnant and you so uh, through this process he's saying but he's saying God God's people you is the remnant you're going to experience like the gilded era you're going to experience that and, and in a sense it's the kingdom age that you'll be experiencing while the world is shaking but it's because God wants them to wake up and he's going to use you as his vessel hallelujah in the mighty name of Jesus right so he's saying yes I'm delivering to you the special promises I've spoken to you but it is so you will enter into a season and seasons a time forever where you will be my hands and feet hallelujah right so I'm gonna read Haggai chapter 1 verse 13 to 15 it says then spoke Haggai the Lord's messenger in the Lord's message unto the people saying i am with you the living god is saying i am with you saith the lord and the lord stirred up the spirit of zerubbabel the son of uh, shealtiel the governor of judah and the spirit of joshua right the spirit of joshua hallelujah right the be not afraid be courageous and be not afraid hallelujah the son of uh josedek the high priest and the spirit catch this and the spirit of all the remnants of the people hallelujah and the spirit of all the remnant of the people and they came and did work in the house of the lord of hosts their god hallelujah because Haggai if you go back and read this was a time where God was saying finish the project finish the work and that's what he's saying he's going to finish it through you so this is not to be anxious or worried he's saying I will help you finish what I've started in you hallelujah I will help you finish the building of the temple. Hallelujah. Whatever that looks like for you. Hallelujah. Right? And they came and did the work in the house of the Lord of hosts, their God. In the, catch this, verse 15 of chapter 1 of Haggai. In the 4 and 20th day, in the 4 and 20th day, right, of the 6th month in the year of Darius of the king. And when I read that, the 4 and 20th day right god it's like 2024 god said to me right because why a day is like a a, th a year to the lord and a year like a thousand you know days to, to the lord so he, he referenced that to me right a day is like a thousand years hallelujah right and he with that he said 2024 hallelujah right so haggai chapter 2 verse 4 to nine he said yet now he's telling you to be strong yet now be strong O zerubbabel saith the lord and be strong O joshua son of uh, josedek the high priest and be strong all ye people of the land saith the lord and work for i am with you and the lord of hosts saith the lord of hosts he, he was with you hallelujah according to the word that i covenant right god saying remember the covenant i spoke to you hallelujah according to the word that i covenant with you when ye came out of egypt right god saying you might feel like you're in egypt but you are not you're not where you once were i took you from egypt and now i'm going to fully deliver you hallelujah so my spirit remaineth among you fear ye not hallelujah only fear the lord hallelujah for thus saith the lord of hosts yet once it is a little while this is why god is rebuilding you right this is why verse 6 of, of Haggai chapter 2 yet once it is a little while but i will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land because judgment is coming hallelujah and I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. I will fill this house with glory, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, saith the Lord of hosts. And in this place will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. And that is for his people. Yes, he is shaking the nations. And the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, says the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So his people, the remnant, shall receive and experience the gilded and gilded era, a gilded age. Hallelujah. A time forever 
moving forward. That's why it took so long. God saying, I saw your crying. I saw your pain, but be not weary and know that he is with you and he is going to restore everything. Hallelujah. That you may continue to produce the works of your hand. He will, he will be the one to bring about the harvest. Hallelujah. Because yes, he is shaking heaven and earth. He is about to shake heaven and earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Father, we thank you. We thank you for this word. We thank you for your love that never fails. Your word that is life and a lamp. Hallelujah. It is the oil of life in our spirits. Hallelujah. And it will never run dry, says the living God. It will never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So Father saying to fear not. He is with you. He stands with you no matter where you are, no matter where you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he's saying to just remember, this is going to be a time of rapid economic growth for many in the remnant. Rapid economic growth. Hallelujah. A time of rapid increase and, and an overflow. Hallelujah. But he has taught you to steward it wisely now. Hallelujah. And to know, be wise, he's saying. Be wise. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You went through this process and he will now complete it, says the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said to rejoice and thank him. Rejoice and thank him for the work he is doing. Hallelujah. He has kept you from so many things and he is protecting you even now from the foul or from the snare. Hallelujah. From death. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. So we cover you in the blood of the lamb. We cover your entire household. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Receive this word. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We love you. We honor you. We glorify you. Because his glory shall be seen in all the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you guys. I love you. The Lord loves you most of all. And he, he literally, I woke up and out of my seat, he said the word victory. Victory is his. Victory is ours because we are his in the mighty name of Jesus. Victory unto our God and our King. Hallelujah. Because without him, we are nothing. Hallelujah. He is everything. And that's why he took you through this process to remember, right? This is not about to, to not idolize anything. Hallelujah. To not make anything come above him. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, thank you for continuing to purify our hearts, our minds, our bodies, our spirits. We love you. We love you, Father. We love you. We love you. We love you. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you guys. I love you. The Lord loves you most of all. Hallelujah. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. But God is saying, you will, you shall see the fruit, the harvest. He is the one that brings it to pass. Hallelujah. You just continue to obey his instructions as you partner with the Holy Spirit in this hour. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you guys. I'll see you soon. Thank you all for your prayers, your support as well. God bless you. Shalom.